Good morning. I'm Prasad Rao, Director of Product Management in the Services Platform Group, focused around application integrations. As part of my role, I also get the privilege of participating in the Cisco EIR program. Today, we have the distinct privilege to be talking to New Vizio, the CEO founder of New Vizio's Kishore, and he's here to join us and speak a little bit about your company. So go ahead, Kishore. Thank you, Prasad. And uh, uh, again, I'm, I'm here. My name is Kishore, as Prasad mentioned, um, and I am the founder and CEO of the New Vizio Networks. Uh, essentially, it is uh, New Vision Networks. Um, the idea be behind the company is to get the uh, uh, software-defined networking application deployment much more easier. So a little background of the company. The uh, company is founded in 2014. Uh, it's based in Milpitas uh, in California as well as in Bangalore. Uh, combined uh, founders and officers have like, you know, a lot of experience in successfully uh, starting and exiting uh, some of the companies earlier. And in fact, one of them was sold to Cisco called Pari Networks two and a half years back. And, and the uh, founders, again, there are four of us. Uh, and you know, you know me, I'm the uh, founder and CEO. Uh, and there was another uh, gentleman named Srinivas Devala, who is the uh, CTO uh, for New Viso. And then uh, Siri, who owns uh, and runs this in India. Is our uh, chief development officer and uh, VP of engineering is uh, a gentleman named Sashitar Nambakam. All of us have a lot of experience with Cisco and all the uh, lots of other companies around um, in uh, big companies in the uh, space of SDN, healthcare, uh, and then you know wireless and, and so on and so forth. Uh, the problem that we are trying to solve is there are two different uh, distinct problems we are trying to solve. One is from the customer point of view. The uh, other one is from the uh, market uh, point of view. The uh, customer point of view, the SDN or software defined networking is in very, very early stages. Uh, at this point of time, every customer is saying, you know, hey, as asking a vendor like Cisco, do you have it or you don't have it? But the uh, decisions are not being made on purely SDN pricing discussions. And our expectation is in two years, the SDN migration will pick up, pick up and it becomes, you know, uh, so big that somebody needs to step up and provide some tools and uh, um, uh, products related to that so that the migration of SDN will go smoothly. And that is essentially where we are trying to figure this out. And also, as part of this, we think the bigger complexity is lots and lots of controllers for the software-defined networking, as well as the applications that come into the market, which means that you know the complexity increases rather than decreasing. And we absolutely need a solution in that space. And that's what we are trying to provide using New Viso. The other aspect, as I said, market side. Uh, market at this point of time is still traditional IT. And you know, again, it's slowly going to that, that route, which means that once in uh, two years is, is what we are looking in the market in two years, the proliferation of these applications becomes so much that all the networking vendors uh, will change their directions, which they are already doing it, to get to the SDN bandwagon. So that, that means that you know, that's the time when the customer needs it, when the market is ready with the vendor perspective, and that's where we need a solution. Now, uh, what is the solution that we are trying to provide? We are trying to provide a solution which is basically what we are calling as New Viso Exchange, uh, as well as you know, a set of applications. What we meant by New Viso Exchange is essentially a place where we can actually bring all the different uh, software-defined networking applications, provide the life cycle of the applications, uh, make sure the applications are uh, um, ready for deployment D depending on the existing network and existing infrastructure. As well as we also figure it out, there will be a lot of hybrid networks going forward, which is SDN and non-SDN. How do you bring both of them together? So all these things along with in a set of applications that we are building in is called uh, SDN Exchange Applications. That's what our solution is. Uh, at a high level, you know, if you look at up, uh, the uh, Exchange, Exchange is providing the application lifecycle management for all the software-defined networking applications. And those applications may come from vendors, the application may come from partners of vendors, or the application may come from independent software vendors. So take all those things in and then provide an application lifecycle uh, through the Exchange is what we are trying to uh, solve. In addition, you know, we, as I said, when the, a new application comes in, we basically, with our knowledge on the, what is existing in a uh, infrastructure for a IT, we can actually, uh, depend, de de depending on the infrastructure and depending on the application, we can say which application works well with which infrastructure, which with, with controller. And we make those decisions for the IT 
ops guys so that you know they don't need to really figure it out because again my premise earlier as i said there will be complexity of these applications and controllers and we are trying to make it much much easier for a user so all they need to figure out is once it comes to exchange pick it up drop into the controller that is uh, required and they are done everything else will be taken care by the uh, new user exchange and by doing so, what we are trying to do is we are actually helping to uh, uh, lower the operations expenditure for the IT operations uh, because, again, as I said, that you don't need to understand all the different uh, nuances of SDN applications, the vendor networks, as well as the devices. So we'll take care of all of them, number one. Number two also is as we do this, it becomes more easier for people to migrate onto SDN. Uh, people move mi migrate onto SDN to, for lowering not only OPEX, but also to make the less complexity in terms of how they can actually manage their network. And we migrate that uh, much faster to the SDN, non-SDN network to SDN. And also, because we are providing the hybrid uh, infrastructure in between, people doesn't need to directly move on to SDN. They can keep some aspects of it SDN, some aspects of non-SDN, but they can still collocate and actually manage it much smoother way. Uh, why uh, new ISO? New ISO, again, it's a it's, uh, uh, set of uh, people who are uh, extremely good in terms of delivering. So we have execution is you know bigger focus for us. We have done that in many companies, and you know, we're doing that in new ISO too. And also, the uh, the current timing of the market, as I said, in two years, the market will be ready for this, and we will have the product uh, at, the, at the time when the market is ready for it. So because of those, as well as, you know, we do have lots of uh, ideas that are patentable, um, you know, which is unique in the industry at this point of time. Combining all those things, it makes a lot more sense for uh, uh, the company and, you know, what we are trying to do here. And finally, you know, uh, how does this help the Cisco services? You know, again, Cisco services has, you know, much bigger uh, uh, play in terms of the migration of the existing networks. So we will actually help in the migration of SDN, uh, both for the advanced services, technical services, or consulting services, uh, using, you know, providing lots of applications for the discovery of SDN, for migration of SDN, as well as, you know, the uh, for the, uh, once the deployment is done, for uh, ongoing management of operations aspect, that those are set of tools and that we provide so that Cisco service can take it and actually you know, push it to um, get to the next level of customer interaction, customer management, and, and touch points with the customer uh, as they grow their network and you know, go on to the SDN space. At a high level, Prasad, you know, that is uh, what we are trying to do, uh, and then hopefully you know, we'll get uh, some idea of what it is this point of time. So Kishore, you clearly have been successful down mm -hmm. this path before. Um, you've done, you've created some new companies mm -hmm. and built them up and uh, brought them into the market and they've been very successful. So the track record is definitely there. You have the depth and the mm -hmm. background and as you've shown from your team, they have the experience. Based on that, what would you say Cisco would need to be watching for in terms of challenges in this space and how, I know you touched on it, but could you emphasize that a little more, maybe some clarity around what we should be looking for and from, from new as your standpoint, the contribution you could have to help us overcome those challenges? Yeah, so so essentially if you have seen what's going on in the market, uh, Prasad, like HP recently they announced you know their own app store uh, for yeah. SDN applications, you know, putting in applications there. I think you know the industry is so fragmented where it's, everybody has their own stuff, right? So there is no industry standard uh, exchange, if you will, or industry right. standard application, right? Everybody has different applications. So so what uh, new ISO is bringing to table, you know, which which is what we we are very excited that Cisco will actually make use of it, is because you are the biggest guy in the networking space, and you know, which means that you know you are the one who is offering services to these existing customers, and also you have much bigger share of the existing infrastructure, or, or you know, already available, you know, to a few hundreds of billions of dollars, and it is for your own good that you know, Cisco takes ownership of it and start migrating the customers, right. and we are there to provide all the uh, necessary tools uh, that are needed for Cisco to actually you know, make that migration. Right, no, that's good, thank you. The other question I would have for you is, what, as you're seeing the market transition, mm -hmm. um, and you talked about uh, you know, living in the legacy at the same time, moving into the new uh, mm -hmm. you know, SDN world, Correct. or the uh, application-centric infrastructure world. Correct. Um, Living in two worlds has always been a challenge, yes. no matter where. Yes. Um, what, what, could you add some color to that in terms of what should we expect? Yeah, so again, uh, at this point of time we are seeing, you know, it's like a checkbox, right? And everybody asking, do you have SDN? Yes, you know, go ahead, right? That's, it's not changing the pricing decisions and, you know, uh, whether we want to really award a, yeah. a contract to Cisco or somebody else, right? right. 
in two years we think that that will completely change and people say that you know hey demonstrate that you have SDN you know and then implement it here then only we are going to actually go to the next level right, right. that also means that you know in the next after two years you people are not going to go overnight and migrate everything to SDN it right. is a process any enterprise if you start taking one example of any enterprise it will take anywhere between six months to six years for somebody to move, move right. the entire infrastructure right during which time they couldn't afford to have like you know, two sets of people taking care of two different networks which may or may not talk to each other right that is the reason I mean, I'm just saying that you know, we have this hybrid solution which essentially it's the same set of things as if you are doing the SDN you still do it okay. but we take care of the complexity of non SDN internally you know uh, within the exchange and applications and, and I think that is that is what you know it's, it's a journey again it's maybe 10 years before everybody move on to cloud we have seen the similar thing it took like you know three four years right. where we are in the cloud so now the migration started maybe another 10 years before the cloud happens and SDN is following the cloud almost a similar way. Excellent. Thank you.